Legendary Fighters for The Great War. Story. After the demise of the Kozachu, Kono and the last few Tigeron and Hanguru and Shutan troops were about to leave the mansions heading home. They've lost the, the Milky Way Galaxy. Their lord and elite characters were gone. There is no future. Then the Prince of Darkness reached out to Connor and said, Hmm, I did not suspect them to be so powerful. But ever if I told you, then referring to the Great Three, ever if I told you, Connor, that there is a way for the cause of you to gain vengeance on them. But the essence of Red R and Delta in its dragon form, of course, are well and alive. The essence? Is there no way to come back to the original form? No. They are part of a much larger picture. But I'll need you and your leftover forces. I'm assembling an army to meet our Pacific planet at a Pacific time. For we will crush all of our enemies. And you will have your vengeance against those that want you. Gonna know that the Prince of Darkness is literally the representation of evil. And knowing in his heart that this was a sign that a battle between good and evil was soon to be decided. But Gona had lost all faith in God. Seeing that the allies, including the elders, and Mad El was also sent by God to kill his lord, Gona decided to side with the devil and across the troop surrendered to the Prince of Darkness. The Prince was also making his moves to the Eye of Batalcon, telling him full hand what was the main plan. So Eye of was like, because they met him, plan Batalcon after um, the Gardens fled. So Prince, you want to form all these powers together, all the great evils to control that one called from Contessa. Not even I would pull off such a <laughs> daring plan. The Prince of Darkness was like, of course. All the great evils of all the eons formed into one. Magontazen is the very symbol of this time distortion. And as the representation of it, of pure darkness, I and I alone can control it. And the hotel comes like, hmm. So I mind the last part of the puzzle. After Damien's eventual defeat. Hmm. Maybe. But I have the sights on others. You'll soon see. But however, if you survive the battle, you and your Patelcon, then there'd be no need for Macantessin. But if you were to say be defeated, our cause would be just. I will ensure the builder on will be safe and secure. And then the Vince Dark has left the Abadelcon. Then Rakakon gazed and looked forward, more determined than ever to destroy the pretenders and be alive and the people, and to survive, of course. And he muttered, hmm, if I could survive and gain power and influence in the Tower of Magantes, I would be more powerful than the Prince of Darkness himself, an undisputed rule of the universe for all eternity. Hmm, this is a win-win situation. Unnecessary for me, but at least for our side. And then also, the Prince of Darkness have been gathering troops, e e beings, to fill in Magantesen. From Paul Harrow, Cyrus, Perfection, Patalcon, the Arabatalcon, Damien, and others that will come and reveal his plans. The greatest evils, the greatest powers the universe has ever seen. Objects of the great time disruption. We're about to come to head. Against the darkness, was two plans was to use the Magante's power to destroy all those that oppose him and punish the universe into eternal darkness. There he will reign forever. This was his eventual plan. But back to his first appearing, he had no other chance to do it. His master, the devil himself, was still chopped away deep in hell, unable to move anything. 
So the Prince of Darkness took it upon himself to lead the forces of evil on his own accord. Now, if this plan will succeed, he will be the undisputed rule of everything. So we hoped. Backing now to the golden city of Anjoska, where the Allied troops headquartered. Andrew Lafleur, the press, with his hand, his head, and his hands, sitting on the throne, in which he never got to sat on during the rule of Anjoska. Marveled and pitied of his lateness, unable to save his other side of family. Him and Diana were the last of their family left alive. And both of them were um, objects of time disruption of their own right. Along with them was Mark Eby, who survived and vowed to serve the Lafleurs to the very end. In the chamber, Uwe Yui had appeared to comfort Diana, seeing that she needed family more than ever. So he came to his sister and to Lord Lafleur's and said, Lord Lafleur, my dear sister, mark you, please, bowing down and putting his hands together, welcome me in your chambers. And then I was like, yes, come. And then he came. And then Diana rushed and hugged him, seeing that, you know, I was so family outside of her grandfather that she had and then they discussed the plans forward and I was like I came so late this golden city this planet everything that I ever envisioned was to see by you my darling my dear how how did everything went wrong if only back then back then my first appearance in the third universe. If I had to cut down the background and talk over Utopia, I could have been ready for Gajin being and destroy him. He wouldn't have been a threat. Maybe the third universe would have been the final universe. And chaos and everything else would have been gone. Mark you being locked in this lord. I wanted to say some words of comfort, but he was unable to. Uyui offered advice and said, my lord, Master so much, some Rita, John Pippo, the Breakthrough, the Elders, Star A, and Dr. Ivo, and the Insurance are still on our side. Not to mention the Merrell and Queen Alexis forces. We will face any hardship that may come our way. Besides, the Prince of Darkness and Chaos abound. And and then the Anaconomorph is him. Speaking of chaos, he said that he's going to a planet that started a war. The war was going to begin there. I do not know what that world he was talking about. Grandfather, do you know what that sort of planet that might be? And then I was like, no. A planet going into war? Mm. That might, and then Mark B then explained. That may explain Queen Alexa's disappearance. All of them knocked him up and said, hmm, I did some studying. Queen Alexa, a planet, was originally before her time as he defeated Carvon Jr., King Carlo, um, was the leader of the planet known as Colossica, large territories of it. And then the thousand year war between the Carmel Kingdom and the Xavier Kingdom consumed the entire planet in two, crushing in people and crushing her kingdom and her goals. She herself is a product of time disruption, but she came more powerful and was charged to destroy the King Color. That might, and then Diana said, That's it. Hmm. If I use my intuition as a woman, I myself could see in time. Now that I had time in my hands, I would see to it that I have my vengeance and take back what is rightfully mine. So I was like, hmm, this Queen Alexa is elusive. She joined the alliance to destroy the cause of truth. 
down the line down, she's gonna put her own personal ambitions. Hmm. I guess chaos is there, she's gonna stop him. And then OUE said no. The Scholastic Alchemist says to Xavier and the Camels. They are ancient um, Scholasticans, but of Scholastical. They suspect that the Camels and others are supported by Star 8 might be in need with Cyrus faction. Hmm, said Mark. That must be what they were saying. I must be start Star A was saying that Cyrus was looking for his men. They must be back and pass Colossica. Hmm. That must be where Savanti went, said Diana. And then Chaos there too. The fear of the war. Now it's gonna be from a two way to a three way war. It's gonna be big and massive. And then I'll say, hmm. Yes indeed. We must send it on for you here. But we don't have no one that could right now. People are still recovering from the battles and the insurance of words of annihilation. We need to send a special envoy to aid insurance and prevent the bank run. At last. Alas. And Joseph is no longer a worthy power to even send anybody anymore. And then. And then Carvano wrote him. And. Spore appeared. Say, my lord, the Federation of the Flower has been willing and able to fight for you and your cause. And I say, ah, Rota, Spore, you've arrived. And everyone looked at them. I said, yes, my lord. We will provide any aid necessary. But it'll take some time to rebuild her ranks. Besides, if Queen Alexa, who was saying this was Spore, if Queen Alexa is now turning to fulfill our own desires and ambitions. What of the Sura Machans? No pun intended, Ui, but what are his goals and plans? Doesn't he want to rule the universe as well? And Merel was his only quest to defeat Delator, and now he's going to join the Alliance in the final battle? Mm. Darren was like, yes, he is said to join the Alliance, but whoever is the head of the Alliance doesn't matter to him. So the elves are lost cause. Hmm. And I was like, I have a feeling that this is not it. There might be more people appearing soon. I just have a gut feeling about this. But once we know for sure that the time disruptions are fully over, then we can make a move towards helping the insurance and dealing with the Scholastica. Hopefully, John Johnson, the powerful warrior, destroyed who destroyed the Atlanteans and I'm, I'm sorry Grendel and then I was like no it's no problem then I remember in our days as a golden goddess doing a three way between um, Constantine Clancalo John Johnson and her golden form was fighting for control of the universe but she had joined up with the king of Atlantis who John Johnson defeated and she ended up being defeated by John Johnson the sense of peace of golden causes inside her. A bit of rage entered inside of her by the very mention of his name. But she calmed those nerves. She looked at her brother. And then she embraced him. And Uwe said nothing, but embraced back. And so they continued to discuss who or what might be coming next. And far away in deep space, the Lagoon family and allies that were left were Yamakra and Farrington. For Master Benny had joined back with the, his bank run brethren to come reference. Telugu family members' heads were discussing with their two fighters. But now, Anjozuka Empire had officially ended. David and his kin are gone, and only the floor, the original, and then the floor are left. The flaws are no longer a threat to them. And so they vowed to join the battle as they were observing the wars, the movements of the evil ones, and the bank run in Shun War. And they vowed, just like Medel, to fight in the final war against evil. Now, the flaws were no longer able to lead it. The Lagoons had 
grudge against all the flaws, seeing that they were robbed by Mr. Cash after they destroyed the flaw of pride, and they were poised to rule the one world. But Mr. Cash brought back the Atlanteans and the universe, and then the Atlanteans enslaved the Lagoon family. The Lagoon family then had to sacrifice themselves to destroy one of the prime Atlanteans in order to make the Allied forces get to Atlantis and they siege to it. The Goons were robbed of the opportunity to rule after they were blessed with the ability to hold the rattler sword, which was the only thing to pose the emblem of the flaws. But that's some history for you guys to know. So Yamakra, the former criminal turned fighter, now servant of the Lagoon family, found that he will never join the Madonians again, found his internal loyalty to the Lagoon family, and then determination to rule this universe after this is all over. And Valentin made note to the family, but since the closet troop was destroyed, this made a new big three. And so much in Grinlaxa and Meryl. Meryl is not a threat, because he doesn't want want ambition. The silver merchants are a very huge and large power. And Queen Alexa has gone off to a foreign planet to regain, to gain more power, to start her own ambitions. The Milky Way Galaxy, as a result of these actions, is now available. Now the Lagoon family were gathering onto one solar planet. They can make their home in the Milky Way Galaxy. And then Soon, and then, built up their military, and made until everything is over, and slowly build up their strength, until an opportunity comes for them to take charge of the universe. And Gun family held had also said, even the time is right, we will all gather, and take the Milky Way galaxy, and whatever Bumban is there, and then we will go on to the Cosmetry galaxy, and surrounding other surrounding small galaxies. We will form ourselves as a powerful kingdom in the universe. Then we will gain our play for the universe. Slowly but surely, we will win. And so the Lagoon family held powers of ambition. Queen Alexa had arrived to Scholastica. Was soon arriving to Scholastica as Sue Guardian advised her lady of the situation. And Queen Alexa had a secret weapon on our backside. Hmm. The powerful warrior of the original Skolosko story, the warrior in which the Kamels pride themselves of paying the highest call, was now returned and revived by Queen Lexa, joining her side. The Skolosko was was going to be very, very interesting. But the next story will be the next battle. When another appearance will appear, and then the last set of appearances, a group of people will appear before the Scholastica arc could begin. And then after that arc is the Great War itself. So, yeah. Peace out.